everyone and welcome to my review for Pixar's Turning Red. As some of you guys will know, I didn't really like Luca, so I decided to keep my expectations for Turning Red really low, but I'm happy to report that the film is really great and I was really impressed. One of my constant complaints is that Pixar does not have enough female leading characters. Turning Red remedies this by having a female lead and multiple female supporting characters, all of them being well developed, unique and realistic. Additionally, there was no I'm not like the other girls character. The girls obsession with the boy band Four Town is not viewed as silly and instead is celebrated as a fun teen experience and the glue that connects May's friend group together. Having a female director develop these characters I think made all the difference. Donnie Shee has made an incredible feature film directorial debut and I hope that this is just the start of Pixar getting that authentic female perspective. Obviously, due to the high number of female characters in Turning Red, the themes in this film will resonate more with women and girls. One obvious example is the frank discussion of periods and pads, and I hope that Turning Red will help normalise this experience that all women and girls go through. Another female-specific theme is the mother-daughter relationship between Mei and her mother Ming. Rebellion Against Parents has been featured in countless movies, but Turning Red does it in a really different and unique way. Mei doesn't just hate her mum and never listen, it's a lot more complicated than that, but I can't give too much away, otherwise I will spoil the movie. I also think this movie will resonate with millennials who were kids or teenagers in the early 2000s. Turning Red is very time specific, showing jelly bracelets, teen magazines, dream catchers and Tamagotchis. In particular, Tamagotchis play a major role in the story which was a lot of fun to watch. The voice acting, as per usual, was really strong. In particular, I really enjoyed Rosalie Ching's performances May. I relate strongly to overachieving, annoying perfectionist characters, so I immediately liked her. Rosalie's acting made May real and relatable, and she managed to keep her character consistent even though she was constantly changing forms. Sandra Oh is of course an icon, and she knocks May's mother Ming out of the park. In particular, I really enjoyed some of her acting choices towards the end of the film, but again, I don't want to spoil anything. I also want to give a shout out to Ava Morse's Miriam, who had the biggest role out of the three friends. She gave a beautiful performance, which really made me fall in love with the character. Miriam was such a good friend to May, and it was so great to see a good friendship model in a movie. Although generally I really love this film, I do have two minor criticisms. Firstly, the boy band does not have as big a role in the film as advertised. We don't get to hear them speak, and we only get snippets of songs here and there. However, if you do want to find out more about them, I have created a video, which I will link in the description down below. My second negative is that the animation style is not my preference. I don't like the Wallace and Gromit mouth style, and the anime excited eyes took me out of the movie, reminding me that it isn't real. But obviously, this is just my personal preference, and I'm sure some people will love it. Moving on to the future of Turning Red, I think that May and her panda form will definitely start appearing soon in the Disney parks. Without giving too much away, there is a section in the movie where May starts doing paid meet and greets as a panda, so a park experience like that would really work well. So in conclusion, I've decided to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it, and it is worth a watch when it drops on Disney Plus March 11th. Anyway, that's all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.